Hello, I'm Andy Goldstein and welcome to In The Locker Room with TalkSport and Neutrogena T-Gel. Everyday range of shampoos that are specially designed to help clear your dandruff from first use. I'm here at Mill Football Club alongside a man who of course has been in goal for Liverpool, won the FA Cup with Portsmouth, got relegated with West Ham and played over 50 times for England and more importantly, rocked up with some of the most iconic hairdos the Premier League has ever seen. Hello, welcome to In The Locker Room alongside David James. How are you, James? Are you good? Excellent, thank you very much. Good to see you. Good to see you too. We are here, of course, to discuss some of your iconic haircuts, some of the iconic haircuts of some of your teammates as well. And to do that, we're going to spin the T-Gel turntable. Are you ready? All ready. Spin that wheel. What a great place to start, 2003 and David Beckham's Corn Rose. What did you, when you first saw them, do you remember, everyone remembers where they were when they first saw those? Yeah, probably having lunch at the England Hotel. Right. What was he, when Bex would come in from New Hairstyle, would he go, everybody, have a look at, or would he just sort of sneak in under the radar? How would he do it? Guess the hotel, everyone meets up for lunch. Then people walk in and it's kind of, oh, oh. But does anyone take the meat, like if I had them, I'd get into. His I'd team, get into I think work. his teammates did. You were allowed to do that with Bex, yeah. You were allowed his, to go. His team, no, no, what sorry. are they? His teammates. Right. Okay. Club mates. That, that's allowed, isn't it? Because you've got that relationship. Yeah, there's that famous picture of him with Nelson Mandela. I mean, if, for me, it was just another hairstyle. Right. Yeah. yeah. Did you Some, like it? So we, I loved it because I had it when I was at West Ham. Are you suggesting you had them before Bex? I did. Did you say to Bex or Dave, "I've had them." I just admired the way that he thought that maybe he might have thought that mine looks all right. Because he said recently he regrets having that hairstyle at the time he had it because of the such an iconic man to meet, Nelson Mandela, because he's got them in that picture. Nelson Mandela was very eager to see David, naturally, because David's such a wonderful guy as well. Um, I had actually written about Nelson Mandela in my school history exam. What did you write about him? Nice guy who did some stuff, I failed. Nice guy! Yeah, well, so I don't know, I, I, failed. I failed. Okay. Yeah, Nelson Mandela is a That's, ledge. Yeah, and he's a nice guy. Shall we spin the TGL turntable and see where we go next? Should we do that? Wow, it's landed on that, yeah, he's laughing at it, because oh, it's landed on the, uh, is it the Superman, the Clark Kent hairstyle from 2007? Well, I, I like to refer to it as Superman, yeah. I quite like it actually, if I'm being do honest. You? Yeah, I do yeah. quite like it. I think you you got to be, you got to have guts to have that kind of haircut, belief, or you've got to be the man of steel, which of course you're not. I, well, at the time, I felt invincible. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. it works. Uh, whose idea was it? Oh, it's just, it's a wonderful story. I don't normally go to haircut shops, so. Do you mean hairdressers? No, a shop where you buy a haircut. It's oh right, a, okay. A haircut, haircut shop. So I, I was in Exeter. Um, I thought, oh, I'm going to go to a haircut shop. Went in there. Hairdressers. <laughs> the a heck? Who says haircut the, the shop? The haircut seller. Right. Hello, welcome <laughs> to the haircut shop. What would you like? I've done me, uh, had me shower, and I'm doing my hair. And I'm trying to make it like the, the haircut seller. And what happens? I look like a 10 year old kid, and I'm like, I can't go out like this. Right. So I get a comb, like one of the free ones you get in the hotel, and I've combed it down to the side, and I've gone, that work. Walk down in reception, the lads have gone, Chamo, what are you doing? I got voted worst haircut of the year in some publication. Really? I, I was like, quite like it. Recognition. But, but whose idea was it to do that in the first place? When you went into the haircut shop, did you say do what you want, or did you go? This yeah, it wasn't is what that like. wasn't it wasn't Superman. It was like a stylish. You know, I'm looking at you. I'm imagining you with the haircut now. It still works to this day, doesn't it? I I, I often grow my hair and just, just and, and mat it down a little bit for that Clark Kent moment. I fear there's more great stories coming up. Let's spin the TGL turntable again, shall we? Yes, we shall. Ah, I've been looking forward to this chat. The Spice Boys. I think it was round about then you did the, the Armani stuff, right? Yep. You were the model. George Armani asked me to go and do his catwalk. Yeah. And I said to Roy Evans, I said, George Armani's asked me to do a catwalk tomorrow. And he said, you're a footballer, don't be so stupid. He Concentrate said, on your career. He said, hmm, I wonder, could footballers do modelling become popular and everyone does it? Yeah, no. He said, fine, you're not missing any day's training. Right. No problem. So I, I went out there, did the catwalk, and uh, came back. Came Didn't back, upset anyone. Wore cream suit for the cup final. 
uh, with the Spice Boys. The Spice Boys were essentially the ones who were helping promote the Premier League footballers in different areas of the public gaze. And they did, did a magnificent job in promoting the Premier League. Right, for the final time today, I know it's sad, but we've only got one spin left of the T-Gel turntable. Should we spin it? Let's, do it? Let's spin it. So, David Seaman. David and Seaman. that haircut. What was that haircut all about, the ponytail? What did you make of that? I, I think it just appeared. I know it was a weird one because when you think of David Seaman, you automatically now think of the ponytail. But yes. I can't remember when he didn't have a ponytail. What was interesting, as a football fan, we only ever saw David Seaman with the ponytail in, but we never saw him like looking like a lion with it out. What was it like down? Did he, did he always have it down in the dressing room before you go out and then he just tie it back? Did he ever have it down? I can't remember seeing him have it down. That's weird, isn't it? Maybe it was just a stick on. Maybe it was fake. Bit of Velcro <laughs> on the back. Are you saying you never saw David Seaman with his hair down? I cannot recall seeing David that's weird, isn't it? Isn't that strange? Yeah. That's weird. Before we go, it's only fair that I ask you, um, when we've been talking about haircuts, for you to pick your favourite ever haircut you've had. And there have been quite a few. Um, depends what mood I'm in. If I was in a really funny, laughy, jokey mood, I'd yeah. go for the... When I was at West Ham, because I didn't go to haircut shops, I did it myself. I've gone to bleach my hair blonde, and it was a little bit afro-y. Yeah, I remember. And it went orange. So that for a bit of a joke. But I think if there is going to be the winning, 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 it's going to be the Superman. Super, I like the Superman. I like it. Okay. But there is a lesson there for kids. Of course, if you're going to get your hair dyed, don't do it at home. Go to a hairdressing shop, they'll do it for you. Well, that's all we've got time for. A big thanks, of course, to David James. Thank you for watching in the locker room. A big thanks to Talksport and Neutrogena T-Gel. And remember, fight your dandruff with T-Gel.